All right, my first submission to the Steam Workshop. This is an advanced boat, I'm calling it the Squirrel Fish. It's pretty fast, has a decent range, and advanced boat all wired up, ready to go. And we'll go ahead and take it out and run it through its paces here. Let's turn some daylight back on here. We'll get back to that nasty weather in a minute. Alright, now you have ladders here. Grab onto those. You have handholds in case you need to use those to help get up. If the weather's really bad, pop that, drop in, turn it off. Now this boat will make you a bit seasick. It does bob and weave all over the darn place, which is part of the fun of it. All right, when you first come in here, right behind this wall is the motor and all the guts that make this thing work. You have a primary fuel tank, a large tank. You have two medium-sized tanks here, port and starboard. They have valves are by default closed. Those buttons run them right there. Here are their gauges. Back there you have the engine RPM gauge. You can't really spot it from here anymore, but you still read it. And over here you have the temperature gauge for the engine. The revs are not stock on the motor. They will go a little bit high, but I believe I've got it set to where you can't really blow it up unless you try really, really hard. I haven't been able to yet. All right, here we have a flood gauge. Shows the amount of water that's inside the boat at the time for bilge pump purposes. There's your dome light. You have seats uh, for six passengers and one pilot. You have eight deep diving gear setups here. You can switch those out with something else if you want. The other ones are behind the seats. All right, go into the pilot seat here to start. Turn the key, hit the button, turn the key off. All right, now the throttle is minimum to the setting here so the motor doesn't cut out on you. Clutch starts out at zero. All right, we have a compass. We have the primary fuel tank here. We have the speed and knots converted accurately. The light switch here turns on the mast, the underwater light there, and this dome light in here. Nice red light, looks good in the dark. Over here you have your bilge pump and a flood warning which will flash like mad at you if you're taken on water. Over here you have the reverse gear light. It'll flash at you to remind you that you're in reverse so that you don't end up stalling out your motor. Alright, port battery, starboard battery. Alright, now, the hot keys. Uh, one and two are your throttle, down and up. Three and four are your clutch, up and down. It's set up that way specifically so that you can hit one and two to go forward. At the same time, pretty much get you going. A and D for left and right steering. Off we go. On a calm day, do right about 25 knots. The turning rate is pretty decent, as you'd expect for a small boat. Now, reverse gear. Number five activates the gear, so turn the clutch down a bit, hit five, and turn the clutch back up. Same thing for the reverse. There you go. I'll be done with the hot keys. Alright, number six is a spotlight, which is controlled by the arrow keys. Angle that down a little bit. It's good for illuminating obstructions in the water there. Anything that's even beneath the surface you should be able to catch it. Got your full 180 degrees. Up and down, good to go. All right, so let's turn that bad boy off. All right, now, demonstration of these fuel gauges here. Uh, all right, now we're sitting at full tank. Open that up, and it starts drawing from that tank as well. The entire fuel system is running off of one pump. Each tank has its own separate valve. So, that. Uh, operates
the same as over there. Alright. Let's go ahead and get some shoddy weather. Now, going into the waves. Uh, full throttle on this. It tends to have a porpoise pretty bad up out of the water like that. Right there. Slows your way down. That works pretty good. Let's drop the throttle down to about 50. Once it smooths itself out, it tends to hold pretty good. It doesn't deviate from course too much either if you get a nose in. Now, our purpose here is to check. Ugh. Demonstrate the fuel pump here, or excuse me, the bilge pump. So we'll go ahead and open up that hatch. Get some moisture in here. Get a little bit seasick in the meantime. seems to do pretty good when it's cut off from the air supply. It's got, of course, the usual filters and stuff on the line so it doesn't suck in water. But even the tsunami right here won't drown it. Carries on. Alright, now, we've taken on a little bit of water. Not a whole lot. A little bit. Uh, the bilge pump will work as long as you have not actually sunk the boat it's on its way to the bottom. Ooh. I do believe covers it. <laughs> 